Okay. So this morning session, I'm hoping to do a settling, grounding, resting with support. You can choose whether that be sound or breath. Um, and I suppose um, I'm going to focus a little bit on a phrase you may have heard uh, through the practice, this phrase of nowhere to go and nothing to do. Has anyone heard that phrase? You might nod your heads. Yeah. And it's a beautiful phrase. It's just for me, it feels really luscious to be able to give myself permission to go nowhere and to do nothing. Although if we really think about it, it can sometimes feel a bit abstract or hard to attain. But I was reflecting on this phrase this week because sometimes the sense of nowhere to go and nothing to do, sometimes that pops up as I'm moving about the world. And it used to pop up a long time ago when I used to golf. I used to golf, I haven't golfed in years, but every time I was on the golf course, I felt like there's nothing else I could do but be here. This was the only thing that was expected of me. And I get this feeling too when I'm traveling, if I'm in an airport, once I've gotten through security, I surrender to the process with that sense of nothing to do and nowhere to go. And recently I was in a hospital. My, my partner is really ill at the moment and he's in the hospital. And I was in that room and all these kind of outside distractions and thoughts were coming. And I was able to really surrender and say, well, actually, this is what I'm doing right now. There's nowhere to go and nothing to do but be here with Graham. And I thought about that, that beautiful lusciousness of giving yourself permission to do this. And what if we, we really, for this practice, try to touch in with that? It's not like there's nothing else going on when I'm golfing or at the airport or in the hospital. There's things happening all the time. But I can remember that actually the only thing I'm meant to be doing is being here right now. And we can argue that this is how it is for all of our moments. But some activities are easier to touch in with that sense. So I thought this morning there can always be a sense of striving or maybe thinking about what you're going to be doing after this practice. But for this settling, grounding, resting practice, let's really focus on touching in with that surrender that this is the only thing we're meant to be doing here for the next 25 minutes or so. How does that sound? Okay. Okay. I'm going to try to hit the audio session or setting so you can hear my bell. Okay. So let's begin like we always do in just taking a moment to place the body. So maybe having a little wiggle in the seat. And maybe just briefly touching in with what you can sense in the body. So noticing any areas of tension or holding Maybe even rolling the shoulders. And on the next in breath, just as we breathe in, just sitting up a little bit straighter. And on the out breath, just inviting the body to soften. So really finding a posture that reflects our intention for this practice. And our intention for this practice might simply be to, to rest or to be mindful. 
or maybe just to surrender into that nowhere to go, nothing to do. And briefly touching in with why this is important, how this might be helpful. To rest, to simply be, the benefits it might bring to our own life, but also to all those who we meet. as we're moving about the world. And then allowing intention and motivation just to rest for a moment as we connect in with the breath. So really seeing if we can sense into this whole body breathing. Touching in with the flow. Of the in-breath. And the out. And if you find yourself getting caught up in thinking about the breath, seeing if this might be that first point of surrender, just letting go and allowing the body to be breathed. And maybe just touching in with all the ways that the body moves around the breath. And if it feels okay, I invite you just to slightly lengthen and deepen the breath. And again, just if it feels okay, not trying to force anything. We're seeing if we can find a breath that really continues to soften. Maybe to bring a sense of ease. If the mind is feeling scattered this morning and again if you find it helpful you might like to bring in a count so counting three or four maybe even five and matching it on the out breath. Or if you're like me and the count feels a bit clunky and awkward, you could just simply bring in a neutral phrase, something such as breathing in, Breathing out. So it's almost as if we're greeting each breath. A gentle acknowledgement.
So we're resting our attention on this deepened breath and the count or the phrase, whichever it is that you're working with this morning. And thoughts will still be coming and going, and that's okay. Sensations, conversations, just noticing this as best we can. It's no big deal. When we notice this just with a kindness and a gentleness, just returning back. The deep in breath. And the count or the brace. And in your own time, as the mind starts to settle, and again, this will be different for everyone, when you're ready, just shifting the attention to the out-breath. Again, staying connected to how it feels. So rather than thinking about it, just sensing into the out breath. Maybe noticing all the ways that the body is letting go. Is arriving with each out breath. Maybe even a, a little surrender with each out breath. And then seeing if the mind can follow suit, if the mind can let go with each out breath as well. Again, if it feels okay, the mind might let go of that count or the phrase, allowing the breath to come back to its natural rhythm. And maybe inviting the mind just to drop down a little bit further into the body. opening up to all the sensations of being alive. What can you feel? It might be fizzing or pulsing or tingling in the hands or the feet. Something subtle, an itch, a 
maybe a numbness or something bigger, an ache. Simply noticing, noticing with a sense of really allowing And if there is something that feels a bit uncomfortable, seeing if we can just soften the edges with that out breath. Again, not trying to change anything, just giving it space to be. And then broadening our awareness out of it. So we're still sensing into the body, being with whatever is here with us, but also at the same time, maybe noticing the sounds. Maybe noticing a warmth or a coolness. The movement of air on skin. You're getting a sense of the space that you are sitting in. And seeing if we can come to rest in this space with this alive breathing body. And this is where we're really going to bring in the sense of nowhere to go and nothing to do. Simply resting in the midst of all that's happening around and within us. And you'll soon find that the mind moves off of resting, moves away from that sense of nowhere to go and nothing to do. And when we notice this, we can bring in a support. It might be the sounds or the breath. Or maybe it's the remembrance that all we're doing right now is resting with nowhere to go and nothing to do. Simply being here. Again, if you feel that pull, it 
That sense of needing to be somewhere else, thinking or doing something else. Remembering this is the only thing we're doing right now. We're simply resting with nowhere to go, nothing to do. Maybe making that your support. I'm going to invite you now just to be with the silence, to be with the process of getting lost and coming back, to be with whatever's arising in the body. Maybe with an intention to surrender, to just simply being here. And if we're feeling a bit of resistance, that's okay too. See if we can bring in a bit of self-kindness, gentleness to the resistance or to the urge to move off. And as we're coming towards the end of this practice, maybe taking a moment to consider any benefits we may have collectively gathered here this morning from sitting together in community. Making a wish for these benefits to grow in our heart, in our practice, sharing these benefits with each of us who are here today and those who aren't. Sharing these benefits with our own communities and sending them out into the world in ever expanding circles.
So if you haven't heard my bell, I'm making a ding sound. And I'm just going to go back into security settings. <laughs> 